Hey, welcome back to the channel, it's your man Wise. Today, we're checking out a video I found here on X and I uh, found a couple videos on TikTok as well. You guys seen the thumbnail, you seen the title. I think Trump just won Pennsylvania. I believe that just happened because there is a swath of people who historically, presidential candidates, elected officials, or people running for office, they, I don't even think they talk to these people. And it's the Amish. That's who I'm talking about. Word on the street is that 80,000 Amish people have gone and voted. And a large majority of them, if not all of them, are supporting President Donald Trump. We got to check this out, man. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Consider joining the ARP family. Turn those notifications on so you never miss and upload and without further ado let's go could you imagine being part of a community that is so off grid that you don't even have driver's licenses or cars could you imagine and then for the first time ever your entire community is going to vote for the president of the united states and then on your way to the polls, you decide to fly flags from your horse-drawn buggies. Trump flags, specifically. What? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Amish TikTok. Um, they're flying flags. Trump flags. From their buggies. On the way to the polls. The people in the off-grid communities are tired of our government and their shenanigans and their voting. There's roughly 80,000 Amish that are voting for the first time ever this year. And the kicker, they're in Pennsylvania. You don't win the election unless you win Pennsylvania. Um, so this off-grid community of Amish could potentially save our communities. <laughs> I'm here for it and I'm thankful that these Amish are coming out in full force to support what they believe in. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. These guys are on horse and carriage buggies with American flags and Trump, Trump flags. This is amazing. This is a community of people who, for the most part, don't really participate with the rest of us when it comes to politics and things of that nature. They kind of, you know, kind of do their own thing outside of selling their goods. And I must say that they make some very quality products and the food. I've been to the Amish market a, a multitude of times. Man, they do a really, really good job there. Down here in Maryland, we have a uh, fairly decent sized Amish community um, down in Southern Maryland. I don't know if you guys have ever uh, run across them, but, you know, if you're ever down on Route 5, uh, you'll see them, you know, on the on the road, you know, with their their horses and their carriages for sure. And uh, this is just amazing, man. It really is. And this just goes to show you how important this upcoming election is or the current election is as we, you know, get closer and closer to Election Day. When you have the Amish coming out of the woodworks, you know that this election is extremely important. Views that the conservative party has, Trump has, that the Amish community identifies with. We're pro-life. Um, uh, we're, I could say we're pro-freedom. Uh, you know, to be over-regulated is just nuts. I mean, you go back in the history of George Washington, and through the different presidencies and the uh, Bill of Rights, all those were based on freedom. They weren't based on overregulation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the politicians didn't make a career out of it. They, it was a dis, almost a disservice to be a politician. Today we are a politician because we make wealth off of it. That's true. Trump didn't keep a dollar when he was president. How about all these other politicians? You'd... He actually lost money in office. If you believe that. How about they go four years without taking a dollar? Have you noticed a lot more of, uh, from people from the Amish community that are voting for him or, or participating based on what you're seeing? Uh, 
there's definitely the Amish community is more energized. Um, there's more people going to be out voting, more Amish out voting, most certainly. Good. Um, I can say a, a big part of Pennsylvania and the Amish business, uh, Amish community is no longer farming community. Uh, we're, we're mostly business folk. Uh, we understand the importance of um, having a sound economy. But, you know, the past four years, uh, you know, I think most people can say that it looked like they were making more money. And in the, the day, they were making less. Uh, you, you may get a bigger paycheck, but the cost of living is ridiculous. And I can put it this way. Kamala says she's going to give uh, the $25,000 down for a first-time home buyer. That will never lying. happen. Anybody that thinks that will happen is a fool. She's lying. Uh, it's the same as the free, uh, free college. You know, yep. you think about how about our homes? How about the ones we purchased? <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's my 25000 And that's why it'll never happen. For anybody that believes that'll happen, it will never happen. I guarantee it. And if it would happen, it would inflate the home prices even more. Yep. It's crazy if anybody thinks that she would turn things around. She was there for three and a half years. Yep. She had every opportunity. She's making all these promises. But the question is, why wait? Why are we waiting? She's talking about, uh, she's been talking about the border, how Trump turned down the border policy that they've been trying to pass. Why'd she wait for three years to try to promote a policy? Why not right away? Why did she remove uh, some of the policies Trump had in place? Great question. Seriously, this is kind of craziness we have. There's too many people in America who can't think for themselves. And they believe like CNN, uh, ABC, MSNBC, things like that. You gotta Fake look, news. you gotta do your research. Okay. Uh, the the uh, majority of the uh, country wants him. I think he's a great leader. We may not all agree on the personality, but if you want Kamala, you want to take somebody to prom, she's the one. But I want a I want a business leader to run our country. Amen. I don't get one vibes. Vibes Amen doesn't save that. our country. Vibes doesn't doesn't uh, take our country in the right direction. Uh, it's it's all about policy, all about substance. We don't hear anything from her. Uh, she has the same train wreck details and and uh, memorized speech every time you ask her a question. I was burning in the middle I, I class. I think people are ready to, to have him back in again. We have four years of disaster. You know, our values, conservative values, and the Amish values line up very close. We don't agree on everything, but we agree on most things. The liberal values are absolutely crazy. I, it, it, seriously, anybody is, it, is de deciding if they want to vote for a Democrat or Republican? I got a simple question for you. Which is better, California or Florida? New York or Texas? Like, seriously, if you don't know who you should vote for, think about the policy. Think about the states that are run by Democrats. Think about the states that are run by Republicans. Very simple choice. He's absolutely right. It's a no-brainer when you look at it that way. When you look at it that way. You look at California, look at Florida, look at Texas, compare it to New York. Companies are fleeing New York. They've lost over 150 semi businesses during this administration. Businesses just said, nah, we out. A lot of them moved to Florida, some moved to Texas, some moved to other states in the South that would support them. This is real. Trump just won the election with this right here. Everybody knows that you, you win Pennsylvania, you pretty much got it. This is huge. This is huge. Again, these are people that, for the most part, stay to themselves and they don't really get involved with politics. But like the brother said, they're in the business. They're businessmen. You know, and they feel or, or have been feeling the pinch of this economy for the past two, two and a half, three years. And we need a change and we need somebody that, you know, has a high business acumen who can come in and help write this ship ASAP. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Turn the notifications on so you never miss an upload. Consider joining the ARP family. God bless those that has. Keep God first in your life. Stay prayed up and we'll catch up with you all next time. Peace.